the preparation and properties of peroxy monosulfuric acid. Attention, sulfuric acid can cause severe chemical burns on the skin and eyes. Hydrogen peroxide can cause severe damage of the eyes and is harmful if swallowed. I don't take any responsibility for damage done to persons or property caused by the recreation of this experiment. For the preparation, concentrated sulfuric acid and 30% hydrogen peroxide are mixed at a ratio of 1 to 1 or 1 to 2. It is important that the peroxide is added to the acid while stirring. In this case, 20 milliliters of sulfuric acid and 20 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide were mixed. In the addition, the mixture becomes very hot and the formation of gas can be observed. Here the sulfuric acid reacts with the peroxide to form the peroxomonosulfuric acid and water. In these conditions, the acid is unstable, which is why oxygen is released. The released oxygen contains a lot of ozone which can be proven with a wet pH paper that is soaked with a potassium iodide solution. The acid is a strong oxidizing agent which is why organic substances like this paper towel are oxidized completely. In the lab this is also called piranha solution due to this reaction. Practically the acid is only used to clean clogged sintered glass crucibles. In this case it has to be taken care of that these don't contain residues of organic solvents and especially acetone because otherwise an explosion might occur. Here I have a beaker that has a layer of carbon on the bottom that couldn't be removed with strong scrubbing. These stains take a bit longer to be removed. The solution had already reacted for a bit so it was replaced with a new one and the beaker was left to sit in it for another 30 seconds. After that the beaker was washed and dried. Out of curiosity, I added the solution to a test tube which had a thick layer of burnt sugar that couldn't be removed further with a brush and water. What can be seen here is that the speed of the reaction decreases significantly when the solution cools down, so it has to be left for a longer period of time or heated. This is why the tube was heated with a heat gun, until the speed of the reaction was sufficient. I don't recommend to repeat this because a boiling retardation could be extremely dangerous. After the first run the test tube could not be cleaned completely, but this situation is quite uncommon and can be solved with way safer methods. When the solution is used up, the charred residue is not oxidized anymore and left in the solution. This were the preparation and properties of peroxy monosulfuric acid. I hope you enjoyed, please rate and comment.